in Sidcup and book in for the operation of their choice, providing they're already on the waiting list, it's first come, first served. Every weekday morning on the RTM Breakfast Show at 7.15, I'll be bringing you Hospital Line. It's the latest attempt to tackle the NHS waiting list. The operations on the availability schedule today are for a tonsillectomy, a knee cartilage operation and varicous vein removal. If the local the radio station advertises the day's cancelled operations and whoever telephones the hospital first, providing you're already on the waiting list, can jump to the top of the queue. Administrators at Queen Mary's Hospital in Sidcup in Kent found up to 200 operating slots were going to waste each year because of patients dropping out unexpectedly. Usually by the time the hospital's notified, it's too late to arrange a replacement. Frank Marshall waited for his operation for nearly six weeks. He and his wife Marion believe the new scheme will cut down on a lot of worrying and pain. Me as a coward, it would save me having to worry about it. I could get a phone call in the morning and say, come in tomorrow, come in today. And I could come up here, have an operation, and of course, I wouldn't have to worry, would I? Well, I think it's wonderful. I really and truly do, because if something's wrong with you, you want to get into hospital and have it done straight away. But the scheme's not without its critics, who fear it's another symptom of the commercialisation of the NHS. I wouldn't see that we're trying to put the onus on the patients at all. I think what we're trying to do is fill in slots when it's a very difficult issue to try and fill them at short notice. We're not running a competition to give away varicose vein removal. It's for people who have been on the waiting list already and they are currently being referred to the hospital. They're on a waiting list for that operation. It's not, do you fancy a varicose vein removal today? Then listen in and win. And if it's a success, it's likely to forge further links between local broadcasters and hospital officials. Alex Crawford, Sky News in Sidcup. Other stories making the news this morning.